<laughs> ESPN FC on ESPN Plus is presented by the all-new Honda CRV Hybrid, and we're seeing scenes here of the mania that we're seeing from Argentine fans across the world, and understandably so. They are so excited to see Argentina back in a final with Lionel Messi in this form, in this team as well. Pablo, can you explain how the Argentines feel about Lionel Messi? What, what, what we need to know more about this, what this means to, to the Argentine people to have Messi back in the final? Well, you just see now some of uh, the clips of the Argentinian people celebrating uh, that we are again in a World Cup final after eight years, uh, which is something incredible for our country, for the players. Uh, you know, and, and especially for Messi, because he knows it could be his last World Cup uh, game. He already uh, said that in the press conference. So uh, it, it would be, you know, uh, amazing. And, and, and I think every single Argentina fans uh, want to see Messi lifting one of the greatest uh, trophy in the world football. I mean, that, that would be incredible. Uh, we know that we have a picture of uh, Maradona doing this and it would be so, so good to have uh, another picture of Messi doing that. Two of the greatest players of all time and uh, that's all the Argentina we want to see. So, finger crossed that it will happen Sunday. <laughs> uh, Pablo, just to stick with you though, seeing as though you mentioned Maradona, if Messi were to go on and lift the World Cup here, would he step out of the shadow of Maradona in Argentine fans' nah. eyes? Nah. No, no I mean... Uh, for some people from, uh, you know, 60s, 70s, that they have seen the best of Maradona, you know, that, that they will, even if Messi wins the World Cup, they will still say that Maradona was uh, the best, uh, nothing like him. And, and that was probably because in the 86, he brought so much uh, success into the country and, and, and so much joy. So that's why people just love him. But I mean... Uh, I think that debate is just ridiculous. We, we just need to, uh, you know, uh, be so glad to have two of the greatest players, even if Messi win it or not. Uh, listen, both of them uh, best players, and we need to love uh, Maradona and Messi in the same, uh, at the same level. So, obviously, well, that's interesting to know then what you think of the people, Pablo, who say that Lionel Messi has to win the World Cup to be considered the greatest of all time? Uh, for me, Kay, he doesn't need to win uh, the World Cup to prove that he's been one of the greatest. I mean, two World Cup finals, uh, winning absolutely everything at the club level, four uh, Copa America finals as well. We, we've been an incredible team with Messi. Uh, we, we've been a better team with him in the squad. And that is something that we need to appreciate from him. You know, uh, so that's why uh, hopefully, you know, because I know him and because we love Messi and, and part of that new generation, we love to see Messi winning. Uh, but for me, from my point of view, it won't change anything if he doesn't win the World Cup. For me, he will still up there as so one of the greatest. Uh, same level as Maradona, for you, me. You, you see that there is something interesting there from Pablo in that when he's talking about Maradona and those that love Maradona, he says, well, those born in the 60s and the 70s. So he's referring to us, the older people over here, right? Because Pablo thinks of himself in the 80s, and so therefore, <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm a messy guy all the way. Look, it's, it would be impossible for me, having grown up in South America, and the connection, natural connection to Diego Maradona, to not think of Maradona as anything and everything that there is in football. But Messi has been so incredibly great and so consistently great that I'm ready to switch over. And I was born in the 70s. I'm ready to take that step. And it's hard for me to get to that point because, man, Maradona was everything. Was everything. When Maradona passed away a couple of years ago, it was like it, it, every Sunday morning watching the games with my father, Napoli games against Juventus or, or whoever they may have been playing. And, it's, and it takes you back to that moment and, and you feel that connection. You feel that emotion. But I'm ready to make the jump. Messi wins. Argentina wins on Sunday. I'm making the jump into the Messi camp. So it, it can happen, even for those of us from the 70s.
Yeah, and I was also born in the 70s, just for clarification. Yeah. <laughs> before I am the smart... You should, have just ended, you should have just ended with just. Before there any smart Alec comics <laughs> about the 60s. <laughs> 70s. No, you know, one of the things about comparisons and is Messi the great is sometimes you just want to get a pair of boxing clubs on and punch somebody because <laughs> what the hell... No, but I mean, you know, it's like detracting from what somebody has done. What... If, if, if two Argentinian players get sent off, can Messi control that? If Otamendi has a stinker, can Messi control that? If Emi Martinez has the worst game of the World Cup, the worst game of the last couple of years for him, and drops two or three clangers and France win, is that Lionel Messi's fault? And I think sometimes people say, well, Maradona carried the team and Messi hasn't done this. You can't always legislate for the other 10 guys and sometimes, you know, 14, 15 guys when the subs come on what they're going to do. You can only do so much. But if other people drop the ball, for want of a better phrase, and have a terrible World Cup final and are overcome by nerves and pressure, there's not a lot he can do about that. That surely doesn't detract from the other thousands of things that he's done brilliant over the years, but I suppose from some people's perspective, they just you just won't convince them. You say that he can you can legislate mistake. You can't legislate the fact that he has to carry Pablo Zabaleta like he did in the 2014 ah. World Cup. You can't legislate that Higuain is missing chances. You can't you can't yeah. legislate all those things. I'm just saying. No need for that. <laughs> what, what? Oh for that. no! Oh, uh, was that unfair? Right. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Ali. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Luis, I tell you what, though, we all know about I Messi's other playing, world. I wasn't playing in front. We... <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.